Good morning, Mets fans, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and unfortunately, the ball and line did not... Whoa, there goes the hat. First time that's happened, boom, put it back. Okay. The ball and the line did not keep moving in the right direction last night. Um, Jacob deGrom was lit up for seven runs through uh, four innings of work. Um, you know, I say this all the time, you can't win them all. Uh, it's just unfortunate that it had to be Jake who uh, let the wheels fall off. But uh, hopefully, speaking of wheels, Zach Wheeler can can uh, pitch a good game today and uh, get the Mets a series victory over the Milwaukee Brewers. So not much not much to talk about from, uh, from last night's game. It was uh, a bummer. It was a blowout. Um, the Mets were pretty much out of this game after the second inning. Um, I guess if we have to find a silver lining, it can be that we got five scoreless innings out of the bullpen. Um, Josh Edgen, one night after Josh Smoker, his lefty counterpart, put up three scoreless. Uh, Edgen does the same, um, perhaps in a less, less of a pressure cooker type situation, but still encouraging to see Edgen um, pitching three scoreless innings. Uh, Neil Ramirez came in and pitched two innings, um, didn't allow a run, lowered his ERA to like 7.8 something now. Um, but, uh, you know, again, not much to talk about from last night's game. I do, however, want to uh, talk a little bit about something that happened this on this day uh, five years ago. And it was the night that, no, that Johan pitched the no-hitter. Uh, five years ago tonight against the Cardinals, um, Mets fans will always remember that game because it was during a, another lost season in the early 2010s uh, where the Mets were going nowhere, but, uh, but still that game kind of brought some life back into City Field really almost for the first time since the inaugural season where it was uh, you know, kind of like the place to be. And, you know, Johan, of course, went on to pretty much end his career uh, shortly after pitching that no-hitter. But it was a special moment. It was a special moment for me. Um, I, I, was, uh, I was able to wake my son up, who at the time was, uh, had just turned five, and uh, made him watch the last inning. He had no idea what was going on. Um, I was texting with my dad and talking about the no-hitter and we couldn't believe it and um, my daughter was uh, two at the time and so I had to be like super quiet because she was sleeping and I didn't want to wake her up but I, I remember feeling that overjoyed e elation when that final third strike was called uh, on David Freeze. It, 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 was, it was a special moment and this day will always be special. Uh, I have on my, my office wall at home um, the framed front cover of the Daily News and uh, from, the, from the following day, from June 2nd, um, 2012. And I, I look at it a lot and I just smile because it's, it's one of those happy moments as, uh, as a Mets fan. And as a Mets fan, and as most of you know, uh, the unhappy moments tend to uh, trump the happy moments. There seem to be more things to be miserable about than to be happy about. But June 1st, 2012 was something that can lift the spirits of any Mets fan. And today I'd like to just think back to uh, the great effort that Johan put forth and um, hoping that at some point in my lifetime I'll be able to see another no-hitter thrown by a Mets pitcher. So that's all for today. Uh, real quick recap from last night. Uh, Mets turn around this afternoon and play uh, at 110. And as I said, Wheeler's on the mound. Uh, facing a pretty tough pitcher, um, Chase Anderson, who's, uh, who's pretty good. Hopefully the Mets can put up some runs. The offense can, uh, can wake up because it was sleeping last night. But hopefully they can put up some runs and, uh, as I said, earn a series victory. That would be two straight series uh, wins. And uh, it, would be, uh, it would be nice. It would be a nice way to uh, end the home, the home stand. So uh, that's all for, uh, for today. Uh, as always, I thank you guys for tuning in. If you're not already doing so, please follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met. And as always, let's go Mets. And as Gary Cohen once said, it has happened.